Hello, I'm going to show you how to set up a um, Google Analytics on your Etsy store. This is really uh, simple to do, but in order to set up Google Analytics, uh, you will need a, uh, a Google account, uh, which means that you'll need a Gmail uh, account to use to sign in with. So assuming that you've got a Gmail account, um, you're, you're ready to go. So navigate to uh, Google Analytics and um, enter the account uh, that you want to sign up with, the Gmail address you want to sign up with. And then you'll see that we have an option to start using Google Analytics and to sign up. So if we click here, um, and uh, we have an option uh, to uh, to get going. Um, so we are going to uh, we're going to set up a uh, tracking on a website, um, and it's asked us for our uh, account name. Now the account name is sort of like the top level um, account. So I'm setting it up on uh, my Etsy store to color. Now, if I had um, a my own store to color as well, uh, then I could actually have my one account, which would be um, to color, and then I would have um, different properties underneath, which would be like my Etsy store would be one, my own website would be another. So you can actually track uh, where um, your stats for the same brand, as it were, but for the different um, uh, identities. So anyway, uh, account name uh, to color, and uh, the website name because this is uh, this is going to be tracking my Etsy store. I'm going to call it uh, to color Etsy. Okay, um, and uh, now we need um, the the store URL. So we'll just um, take this part, the store URL from my Etsy account, just so that there's no chance that I make a typing mistake when I put it in. And uh, we enter the store URL there. Um, industry category well I mean I guess we're shopping so uh, shopping and you can change the time here um, leave it as it is or, or change it um, to your time zone um, you can actually go back and change that later if you want to now you have the uh, you, you have uh, you can use up to 100 um, accounts uh, within Google Analytics so you've got plenty of room uh, for for movement okay so uh, we're now going to click and get a tracking code um, and uh, we um, have to agree uh, terms and conditions. Uh, I accept. I've already read them. Uh, you, you obviously might want to read them before uh, you sign. Um, not quite as <coughs> quick as me. Um, and uh, here's our tracking code. The tracking code uh, begins with a UA. So this string of characters here is our tracking code. So I'm going to copy that go to my Etsy store, your shop, um, shop settings, options, web analytics, and I've already, um, I previously set it up, um, but this is where you would um, enter the tracking code and, uh, and save. And uh, now Google is starting to collect data um, from, your, from your store. Okay, uh, so now uh, if we go to uh, reporting, you can see that this is where we will see uh, we will see the data um, as, uh, as as Google starts to collect data. So in the coming days, you'll start to see uh, data here. Now, before uh, we leave, there's a couple of things that you can do that will um, that will help your data uh, be more meaningful. Um, if you go over onto the uh, the left hand side and you'll see uh, under audience, you see demographics, click overview and you have the uh, the opportunity to enable demographics and interest reports um, uh, which will uh, go alongside your data. Um, and this is this is top level, but it is quite useful, and I recommend um, enabling it for your uh, f to go alongside your Google Analytics. So enable this, and uh, you will see 
Um, some useful information, for example, what percentage um, of your shoppers are male or female, and you'll see some other demographic information as well. So enable, and uh, over a period of time, you'll start to see this, um, this information uh, populated. Now, uh, there's one more thing uh, that's useful to do, and that's uh, to exclude yourself from, um, from the tracking. So any clicks that you make on your site aren't going to um, inflate your site page views. Um, and that's quite important to do, and that you might be doing some um, maintenance on your site and clicking around your site, and then you look at Google Analytics and get all excited because that um, the figures uh, suddenly are looking really good or something, and then you realize that um, with a sinking feeling that actually that, that's come from you. So uh, if you take out uh, your own clicks, uh, or if you stop it from collecting your own clicks, then uh, it, it means that the data that you're looking at is, is going to be more accurate. So to take out uh, your own um, uh, your own clicks, we need to tell it to not exclude. No, sorry, to exclude any um, any clicks from your IP address. Now, if you use um, uh, if, if you manage your store from more than one address, for example, from your house or from and from work, uh, you'll need to do this twice. But it's really simple to do. Uh, first of all, you need to find out your IP address. Um, there's um, there's a load of websites. If you just type in um, to search what's my IP address, you'll get uh, a number of, of places. Just click on it, and it'll tell you what your IP address is if you don't already know. Go back to uh, Google Analytics and go to admin and uh, filter, add filter, give the filter a name, I'm going to call mine ignore me, ignore me, and I'm going to, it's going to be a predefined filter, it's going to exclude traffic from the IP address that's equal to and my IP address. Okay, and save. So I've just told uh, Google Analytics to collect data uh, from everywhere except for my uh, my IP address. For now, any clicks that I make on my store aren't going to aren't going to count. They're not going to be shown. Um, so that will give me a. a, a, a better set of, of data. There's one more thing that uh, I want you to do um, now, um, and that's I want you to set up a second view. And the reason for this is um, as we get um, more um, more sophisticated with our use of Google Analytics, we can actually set up um, different ways of customizing and, and cutting and dicing the data. And uh, I think it's important to have a um, like a master set of data so that if you uh, do anything uh, on one set of data, it's not going to corrupt and it goes wrong, that you won't have corrupted your only uh, your, your only set of, um, of figures. So if we go back to, uh, we're in admin. Uh, if we go to view settings, you have an opportunity to copy this view. So in effect, we're copying uh, that, um, just what we've set up. Um, so if we copy that, and I'm going to call it backup. Backup copy view. Um, and uh, if we change back to all website data, all website data is, that's the main view, that's what we will be looking at, that's what we'll be working on. Um, and uh, that's, that's, the, that, that's the one that will be our day-to-day -day, um, go-to. Um, the backup, it's just there, it's exactly the same as our main data that we're looking at at the moment. It will be collecting the, the same data uh, as well, so we, it's two sets of identical figures. But it just means that if we, uh, if we do anything, um, if, if we cut and dice uh, data on our main um, set of figures and uh, something goes wrong or it gets corrupted or uh, something nasty happens, that we still have a uh, set of backup figures um, that we can work with. It doesn't matter now because obviously we're, that we're only just starting to collect data. But uh, if, if this was in a couple of years' time and, and you had two years' data and, and that you um, did something uh, clever uh, with the um, segmentation or something and, and it went wrong, um, 
uh, I think that would be annoying. Okay, so uh, now uh, just uh, walk away and leave it. Uh, Google uh, will be uh, working its magic, collecting the uh, collecting the data, and uh, over the next week or so, um, you'll start to see um, uh, some figures that actually become sort of quite quite meaningful. Um, I suggest that you take your first look at data after eight days so that you can actually do uh, some day-on-day -day comparisons. So um, uh, just ignore it, leave it, uh, and um, uh, we'll come back to it in eight or nine days' time, and um, I'll show you uh, about uh, some of the reports you can look at what the information means and uh, what you can do with it. Okay, thank you.